Hey, uh, all right. Uh, welcome to Planes Over Red, and uh, welcome to our next video on the A320 series. And uh, today we're going to do flight control laws. And uh, disclaimer is the same thing. Do not use any of this information that you learn here in practical application. So uh, we're doing flight control laws, and uh, now these are uh, laws that actually govern the, you know, aircraft control. So these are the following set of control laws that we have on the 320. Normal law, alternate law, with reduced protection, without reduced protection, direct law, mechanical backup, abnormal attitude law. So we'll talk about each of uh, each one of them. And uh, normal law. So normal law is the flight control. Normal law covers three axis control, flight envelope protection, elevation of maneuver loads. So now the aim of this uh, normal law is to provide the following handling characteristics within the normal flight envelope and uh, aircraft must be stable and maneuverable and the same response must be consistently obtained from the aircraft. The actions on the side stick must be balanced in pitch and roll. Now all this is theory really. I will explain it on the next slide how we how normal law actually works. The normal law is the most commonly available and hence the name is obvious as well and it, it handles single failures. Single failures here I mean is any single thing. Suppose the engine has also failed. Single engine failure is also governed in the normal law. Okay, so any single failure, normal law is there to take control. It maintains aircraft flight path within the normal flight envelope limits irrespective of speed changes, configuration changes, turbulence. Now this will actually tell you about normal law. You can actually brush off the theory I just told you. So what is happening in a normal law is it is uh, called a 1G flying as you can see here 1G flying. Now side stick this is normally the side stick position it's maintaining some attitude. Now once you pull it and then leave it again side stick released it will maintain that pitch and will continue till you push it down to level it again. So if you give it a left bank say 20 degrees and leave the side stick, release the side stick, it will maintain 20 degrees throughout unless until you interrupt it. So similarly as you can see here, if you pull it and then leave it, it will maintain this pitch attitude, whatever it is, till it is being pushed. It will continue climb. Suppose you set it at 10 degrees pitch up and leave it, it is going to stay there only. So pitch and roll are both in you know normal law conditions in this side stick case anyway rudder uh, yaw we'll talk about it when we discuss more in detail so protections available in the normal law are high angle of attack protection load factor protection high pitch attitude protection bank angle protection high speed protection so now high angle of attack protection if angle of attack of the aircraft becomes greater than alpha prot alpha prot stands for alpha protection then this protection kicks in. Now, I, why, what what does this do is uh, angle of attack will not exceed alpha max even if you pull full aft stick. Now, what is happening here? You can see this is the graph between lift and angle of attack. Okay, so this is the common graph. So you can see here alpha prot, alpha floor, alpha max, alpha CL max, right? So what is happening at alpha prot is this cert certain angle of attack based on speed and configuration of course the alpha prot you can see here v alpha prot if the angle of attack exceeds that alpha prot this protection will kick in and even if you pull the side stick full aft as i've written here full aft the angle of attack protection will not allow the aircraft to exceed alpha max angle okay now if you release the side stick you will reach back alpha prot now, alpha floor is an auto thrust function where it will give you full thrust because you are close to stall all right so 1g stall you don't want the aircraft to stall so it will give you full thrust at alpha floor so even if you pull full aft it will not cross alpha max so it is a protection to avoid stall okay it's a high angle of attack protection the autopilot will disconnect if this protection is active okay so the moment you cross vls this is lowest selectable speed so vls and v if you hit v alpha prod the protection will kick in and you will not be allowed to cross v alpha max and you'll get at alpha floor you'll get full thrust okay so this is high angle of attack protection load factor protection this is to pretty simple this is to prevent overstressing of the aircraft structure due to rapid movement of the side stick by chance if you happen to you know uh, 
play around a lot with the side stick. It will not allow you to do it. Uh, it will maintain these uh, slight limitations. Plus 2.5G to minus 1G for clean config. Plus 2G to 0 for other configurations. So this is a load factor. It will not allow the aircraft to cross certain load factors. Pitch attitude protection. Now pitch attitude is limited to 30 degree nose up when config 0 to 3 which also reduces to 25 degrees at low speeds. 25 degree nose up in config full which again reduces to 20 degrees at low speed and it has 15 degree nose down indicated by green symbols on the PFD pitch scale in normal law. Now what is happening is pitch attitude now there must be a slight confusion between pitch attitude and high angle of attack protection. High angle of attack protection is to do with your speed and to do with your aircraft attitude in case because you can stall at any you know attitude so this pitch attitude is specifically for pitch as in you will not be allowed to cross 30 degrees nose up in whatever circumstances so this is a different thing from high angle of attack protection and should not be confused that one is primarily to you know avoid stall sort of situation but this one is primarily to do with your pitch it's a number properly defined number as you could see there's no number defined here so this is to do more with the speed and the angle of attack which is with the relative airflow so this is with your proper pitch okay now the flight director bars fd bars disappear from the pft when the pitch attitude exceeds 25 degrees up or 13 degrees down so they actually go out of picture so that you actually try to recover it bank angle protection now this is fairly simple now bank angle protection is if you happen to exceed 33 degrees of bank in general normal flying conditions there are there is no way that you will actually exceed 33 degrees but if you happen to and you will have maximum bank angle limit of 67 degrees the moment you release suppose you're flying at 45 degrees if you release the side stick the aircraft will automatically come to 33 degrees and st stabilize there okay so pitch and bank remain constant here in this green range and there is automatic turn coordination but there's no pitch trim here as you can see there's no pitch trim so to exceed 45 degree exceed 33 degrees if you're flying at 45 50 whatever you will also have to give pitch you have to hold back the nose so that that uh, uh, pitch trim is not available in the 33 to 67 range but anyway in normal operation condition you should never be exceeding 33 degrees so even after you exceed it and then leave the side stick it will come back to 33 degrees okay so that is about bank angle protection high speed protection now the aircraft automatically recovers from a high speed upset so what is happening is if you have a, depending on the flight condition so high acceleration low pitch attitude high speed protection is activated at or above vmo and mmo okay so maximum operating speed that is so what is happening is if your speed is in at or above vmo or mmo mac number maximum mac operating number the side stick nose down authority is progressively reduced and a permanent nose up order is applied to aid recovery so if you are a high speed you will have low pitch of course as you can see here so there will be a nose up order that is introduced into the aircraft so that it can try to recover to the normal flight conditions another important thing autopilot disconnects when this protection is active and the overspeed warning gets activated on the ecam it's permanent warning and uh, till you actually reduce the speed it will not move away and it will be activated at vmo plus four knots and mmo plus 0 0.006 okay now let's talk about alternate law now we have discussed the normal law so normal law is very simple to fly it is next to autopilot actually i would consider the same as autopilot you just have to uh, leave the side stick at whichever pitch or bank you want to and it will do it will uh, you know your damp and turn coordinate pitch trim everything will be done automatically so now what happens in alternate law in some double failure cases suppose you you know you have lost two systems normal law is not achievable due to some reasons hence alternate law takes over with or without protections depending on the condition so different uh, failures will kick in the alternate law and in that also you have with or without protections in this alternate law what happens to pitches it's same as normal law but it has less protections 
roll is direct to side stick deflection so you have to hold the you know bank to maintain the if you remember normal law you can release the side stick it will maintain the bank but roll is direct so if you have to turn a 20 degree bank you have to hold it at 20 degree bank and keep it there okay your only your damping is available in alternate law now when in alternate law taking gear down will take you into direct law very very important point and it is mostly asked in any interview or any exam when you are in alternate law if you put the gear down you will go into direct law now direct law why because when we land we need flare so to flare you need to be in direct law so that is why when in alternate law when you take the gear down you will be into direct law so generally when uh, if uh, during your training you will understand that when you are flying in alternate law you will actually take the gear as late as possible closer to the runway now let's talk about alternate law with reduced protections now with reduced protection what is happening is load there is load factor limitation which is similar to that of the under uh, normal law there's something called as a low speed stability now in low speed stability replaces the normal angle of attack protection if you remember angle of attack protection in the normal law it is not in this alternate law so it is a low speed stability it is available for all slat flap configurations and a general a gentle progressive nose down signal is introduced though the pilot can override this demand now there is something called as a high speed stability so this is similar to high speed protection but little different a nose up demand is introduced the only difference is the pilot can override this demand in that normal law you cannot override it high speed protection will be active okay so this is same as vmo or mmo nose up demand is introduced now important thing about uh, with reduced protection is there is no bank angle protection and pitch attitude protection the autopilot will disconnect if speed exceeds vmo and mmo or if the bank angle exceeds 45 degrees okay so there is no bank angle and pitch attitude protection in the alternate law with reduced protection alternate law without reduced protection now this is identical to alternate law except that it does not include the low speed stability or the high speed stability it includes only the load factor limitation now at the end of the video i'll tell you few conditions where this will be active where this will be active there are different conditions that will lead you into alternate law with and without reduced protections direct law in triple failure cases direct law triggers now what is happening is normal law can handle single failures alternate can ha handle dual failures direct law can handle triple failures now in this pitch is direct to side stick deflection roll is also direct to side stick deflection yaw is mechanical via the rudder okay because uh, you can see the name itself suggests direct so it's all the side stick is working directly so you have to hold the pitch and the bank to maintain because normal law you can release the side stick but not in this there are no protections available there is no yaw damping turn coordination no auto trim over speed and stall warnings are still available like in alternate law okay but there are no protections available you really do not want to be entering direct law it is more like flying a cessna on the airbus a320 okay we have another one called the mechanical backup and the mechanical backup enables the pilot to control the aircraft during a temporary complete loss of electrical power suppose you have lost electrical power you'll enter into mechanical backup law where your side stick will not be working okay so what happens is pitch is available only via the manual pitch trim wheel on the center pedestal and yaw is via the mechanically via the rudder if you remember the flight control video the previous one i talked about i was telling the ths and the rudder are the only ones that are mechanically linked so via this pitch trim wheel and the yaw mechanical rudder you can control the aircraft to a good extent and uh, roll because uh, roll is anyway side stick is not available so we will be using yaw as a secondary effect i mean roll as a secondary effect of yaw okay there's another one called abnormal attitude law and here uh, it is uh, it rarely happens and i mean i don't think it has happened also uh, in an extraordinary unpredictable external event suppose like an example is a, a mid air collision if you have happened to have where i mean you are there are chances that you are surviving so the flight parameters may go far beyond the limits of the protected envelope and in this case specific control laws are activated to ensure aircraft recovery and to allow safe continuation of flight okay so what happens in this is uh, uh, you know these are all uh, numbers here it will kick in when bank angle is above 125 basically you are spinning 
pitch attitude is above 50 degree nose up or below 30 degree nose down again you're just falling out of the sky maybe uh, speed is below 60 to 90 knots or above 440 knots these are all high speeds very low speeds for the aircraft to fly mac above 0.901 angle of attack above 30 to 40 degrees or below minus 10 so all these you know conditions then your abnormal attitude law will come in and your pitch is alternate without reduced protection roll is direct to side stick yaw is mechanical while the you i mean this is something that really uh, uh airbus has given as a you know law but i don't think uh, you'll be actually in a situation where you'll have to fly all this because this are these are big numbers okay now this is what i was talking about now this is like the master diagram for the flight control laws so what is happening here is on the top you can see pitch roll and yaw are in normal law at the moment now suppose you have some failures here as you can see here double adr double failures you know double fact failure double ir failure and all of this so what is happening there are certain failures which will get you into alternate pitch will be in alternate no protection direct yaw will be alternate okay so you get into because of these failures these certain failures side stick failure you will go into alternate reduced protection direct roll will be in direct yaw will be alternate okay now there are certain the most commonly asked question is always in the 320 exam is in normal law if both your radio altimeters fail radio altimeters failure both of them you will go directly into direct law pitch is direct roll is direct yaw is alternate via the you know rudder so this is very important question generally asked so any of your uh, you know conditions you can actually look up here i was talking about alternate reduced protection alternate no protection so these are if you have a triple adr failure you will go into alternate law with no protection roll will be direct you all be alternate but if you have something like a double hydraulic failure green plus yellow your damper failure you will get into alternate reduced protection roll will be direct you all be mechanical i mean it's uh, not humanly uh, possible to remember all of this but there are important points to remember suppose this one and also this autopilot lost so in these conditions on the top your autopilot will not function but if you have loss of all spoilers or triple sec failure your autopilot is still available though you will be in pitch alternate reduced protection roll will be direct you all be alternate okay so this diagram is a uh, quite uh, it's like the master diagram for the flight control laws and uh, having a look will uh, you know having keeping important cases in mind will help you to answer any questions now this is the final uh, image that i wanted to share it's a very important image so what happens is on the pft you know in which law you are looking at the pft itself normal law will have you uh, have your screen green equal to marks here as you can see here double dash is on the bank and the pitch up pitch down alternate law will have amber crosses as in suggesting that there's no protections available with or without reduced protection because that protection is called anyway low speed stability high speed stability and um, what was the third one was the load factor protection yeah so um, you know those are on the only available on the alternate law front and the direct law is of course uh, where you have you know direct usage of the side stick so it's suggesting you to use manual pitch trim to help control the aircraft okay so this is the important picture where you can understand in which law you're flying so that you can have an easy control of the aircraft so i guess we're done with the flight control laws video guys and uh, next up we are going to do an important video on hydraulics and i'm also planning to do on the mcdu usage uh, our introduction to flight planning and you know all of our radio nav pages and performance pages on the mcdu so thank you for watching guys subscribe to the youtube channel and like the facebook page for regular updates give the video a thumbs up if you like this video do not forget to share this video as well comment below if you have any doubts i will surely get back and uh, you can youtube uh, me message me on youtube facebook whatsapp email on your screens cheers and happy landings guys and also you can find the quiz link in the description have a great day bye bye tada